summer it just can't let go here in Southern California. So I'll tell you about a big warm up headed our way. But right now, let's take a look at our air quality. So you can see that we do have more of that smoke up and around the San Gabriel Mountains. Tonight, though, the winds are going to start to shift. So we thought we were uh, looking at our air quality improving here in the Southland. Well, now we're going to start to see some of the smoke come back, especially to portions of the LA Basin. So unhealthy air tonight for the west portion of the San Gabriel Valley and also most of the San Gabriel Mountains. You can see we still have unhealthy air for sensitive individuals. That includes the Santa Clarita Valley, the eastern portion of the San Fernando Valley, and then all the way into the Inland Empire and also portions of Orange County. So as you mentioned, the smoke advisory continues through tomorrow. Some of the worst air we're going to see tonight for the southern portion of the Bobcat Fire will be right along the 10 freeway. So from the Santa Monica Mountains all the way to Pomona and then for the El Dorado fire because the smoke is being pushed a little bit more to the east. We're looking at the west and eastern portion of the San Bernardino Valley going to be smoke filled. Same with the San Bernardino Mountains tonight and with the autumn equinox in place. It started at 630 this morning. We have about the same amount of daylight hours as nighttime hours. But then after today, you know what it means when we head into fall. We're looking at longer nighttime hours until the winter solstice. So today's sunset time is about 648. A month from now, we're looking at the sunset uh, getting a little bit earlier and earlier. And by November, we could see the sun setting just before 430 in the afternoon. All right, temperatures this afternoon. We saw a mix of 70s, 80s, 90s. We're still feeling very mild conditions. But starting tomorrow, we're going to start to see those temperatures warming up as a ridge of high pressure builds in. And then once we head into this upcoming weekend by Sunday, a big high pressure system rolls in. So this is what I'm talking about with summer can't let go because triple digits should be arriving by the time we head into Sunday, especially for a lot of our inland locations. So tomorrow, not bad. 70s, 80s, 90s, a little bit closer to normal. We warm up a little bit more, maybe by a degree or two on Thursday. We start to cool just a little bit for Friday and Saturday, and then we're looking at a lot of that. Uh, we're looking at a lot of the 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 temperatures warming up. So it looks like my 70 forecast jumped back to the beginning of my um, forecast. But what I can tell you is that yes, triple digits arriving by Sunday, stretching all the way to the beginning part of next week. Back to you guys. Yep, holding on. All right, thank you, Amber. <laughs> well.